And over on the inside, Sandpipers making the running. Three quarters on Surfer Mac. Insurgency has done plenty of work out there wider. On the fence, Badama Joe fourth with 500 left to run. Flying Force and then the Forgotten One. In behind them, coming back, it'll need to find a bit of luck coming into the straight, searching for a clear bit of room at the top of the straight. And now the director low flying to the outside. Now Pike's back there in the ruck with Van Ripper trying to push into the clear back in the pink colours at the 250 and Sandpipers at race two. In front from Insurgency. Now the forgotten one, Van Ripper gets into the clear, but Damajo away from the rail, followed by Low Flying. A hundred to go. Sandpipers gathered up by the forgotten one. The forgotten one burst up, grabbed the lead from Sandpipers, but Damajo. Well, we'll ask Adam exactly that. Darren wanting to know what does the future hold for this horse? Um, yeah, well, we're just going to keep uh, keep progressing through our grades. He's uh, he's a four-year-old West Speed horse, and he'll get further. So. He'll probably have, you know, maybe a little freshen up now and then target some 1,800 metre races at, um, at Ascot once the uh, opening season. So um, he's, taken, uh, he's taken big steps quickly, but he's probably not all that far off a, um, a little rest. He seems to be just do a lot right, settles nicely, he's then got that turn of foot and it just seems quite easy to ride it. I don't know if that's the case, but that's what it looks like certainly when we take a look at the race. Yeah, he, he is a kind, kind gelding and he'll get further. He does everything um, you ask of him and look, he, he's, he's only just starting to learn so it's, it's positive, the signs he's, uh, he's taken as I say. Not, not many come out of their maiden and just win again their next start and he's done it on a Saturday. You know, this is the lower sort of grade Saturday horses but... He, uh, he did it with a bit of authority and sort of got left a little bit lost out there. So um, credit to Pete too, you know, ride was 10 out of 10 from an awkward gate. He, he, uh, he probably, um, although, you know, the, a good horse makes him look good, he, the ride made a big difference. It was, it was spot on. So we, uh, we go home on a good note. Now the name I have to ask about, uh, the forgotten one, is there a story with this? Yeah, well, Dad blames me and I blame Dad and Jason blames both of us and we just all blame each other. But, yeah, he was actually he was actually forgotten for about nine months, ten months in the paddock. We forgot we bred out of that mare. She only won us half a million and we forgot that year that we bred out of her and she was out at adjustment with Beg to Differ and we forgot about him as well. So, you know, basically they rung us up and they said the number on his side and we didn't even realise we had a foal out of him that year. So... Thought we better bring them in and break them in, and that was only this time last year they got broken in. So they've done a good job to come along so quickly and, and do what they've done. It's a cracking story and an even better win. Congratulations on the day. Thank you.